Let's talk about ways of spicing up your piano accompaniment. Let's take a very simple chord progression, which is a C major to an F major. So a C major in the root form is just C, E, and G, and an F major in the root form is just F, A, and C. In the first run, what you might do is play an alternating form, such as this one. C, F, Now let's talk about some ways to spice this up. The first trick is I'm going to use something called a grace note. And a grace note is just a note or a set of notes that quickly precedes the, the note that you were about to play. And in the context of, of the accompaniment and the chords, uh, let me show you two variations, a slow and a fast one, for this alternating form. So the slow one is this. What I'm doing here is I'm starting out from a, a D and a G and then playing the E and resuming the normal alternating form. Notice that my fifth finger, the pinky, uh, keeps the G pressed. The same thing can be applied to the F. For the F, it's a, I hit the G and the C, and then I play the A. Now for the faster variation, and here I am going to play the exact same thing, but my transition from the DG to the EG will be a lot faster, and it will sound like this. So here's the slow variation, followed by the fast one. Slow, fast. Slow, fast. Same thing for the F. Slow, fast. Slow, fast. Now let me show you a different variation. And this one is also going to have a slow and a fast version. Uh, it's going to be very similar, only now, instead of starting with the D and going to the E, I'm going to play D, E, D, D, C. Uh, let me start with a fast version. played slowly, it is picking up the tempo Again, I can do the same thing for the F. Hitting, starting from G and C, I'm gonna play A, G and F. This also has a slow variation. And the slow variation is
playing the same notes, only the timing is slightly different. And I'm playing as before, D. I hit the G with the pinky, the D with the first finger, sorry, with the second finger, and D, E, D, C, back to normal form. And once again, the same thing can be applied to the F. Now you can keep the G, for example, in the C, in the C form, you can keep the G pressed, you can let go um, at some point during the, the form. It's best to experiment and see what comes naturally to you. They both sound good. Uh, it's up to you. So let's summarize the four forms that we've learned. The first form uh, is the slow. fast the second form is slow and fast it's slow slow fast now what you'd want to do is sort of uh, play these every now and then just to spice up the mundane and boring common alternating form. So it might do something like this. with any other trick, you don't want to overplay this. What I've shown you works well for the root form. Uh, I'm not going to get into other patterns that work for inversions in this video, uh, but you can definitely try and come up with some on your own. Uh, I'm going to leave you with maybe uh, a little something to make you think outside the box. These patterns aren't only good for this kind of accompaniment. It can be used in any uh, part of music that involves chords in their basic root form. For example, take this progression. A G to a D to an F to a C. So, suppose you were playing... That's a B flat major add to. Now instead of this what you can do is play one of these fancier forms. Which sounds a lot more impressive than just So I hope this gave you an idea that these Little uh, ornaments, musical ornaments, can really sort of decorate any progression that has its strides in it. What we've really done is sort of borrowed from guitar playing vocabulary, which has hammer-ons hammer and pull-offs, in which players that play guitar uh, sort of hammer on uh, start from one key and hammer on the next key and then pull off, returning to the original note. But let's leave that for guitar players. Uh, I hope you've learned something interesting in this video and I'll see you next time.